Me and Ben are in Northumberland going up and down the northeast coast. We're having like a wholesome little New Year's boys trip where we're going to hit a few of my favourite spots up here. This is actually where I'm from so it's really sick to come back with my camera and actually shoot some of my favourite places because I've not actually done that which is pretty weird. The first stop is Bamborough Beach where we're going to shoot the castle that you see behind us. Might even head into the village for a bit. The sunrise this morning wasn't too good, it was really blue, but we're gonna, we're gonna do what we can with it, you know? <laughs> so we found this proper cool little spot where you can like see the castle between those two rocks there. So we're gonna wait for some bigger waves to come in and like crash over that one there shoot on like one over 800 i want to get the waves like as sharp as they can be get really low to the ground so you can just see the castle through it maybe get some of this stuff in the foreground the shot is going to look so sick i know for the first stop of the day this has been absolutely class that is actually the shot It's just like so blown out. Yeah. I mean, the lighting's not great. It's like, it's super cloudy. There's a little bit of rain. Everything on digital kind of looks a bit flat. Like there's not enough going on, but on film, it should look really sick. You just know on 35, that slaps. Quick stop at Cragside. The weather has taken a turn. It's absolutely hammering it down, but it actually looks really sick because of all these like dark green trees and stuff. So it should still bang. Found this spot on Instagram, which is basically a bridge that has a view of the house. So we're gonna go and try and get that and not absolutely deck it down this hill. So this thing found the spot just down here. Bro is skipping. Ah! Oh. That's the shot, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so happy with that shot. The lighting is so much better. There's actual layers, textures. It's just good, man. Success, 10 out of 10 for the mission. Class. Uh, that's what happens when you take a photo of somewhere as a photographer. I think this is potentially the part of the video Ooh. where we accept that we're going to take a loss. Um, we've made it to St Mary's Lighthouse which is just behind me and we wanted to get here when the tide was a lot higher. It's normally like its own island, you can't get across to it. But it's open, the tide's really low, it's raining. But I think, shit, <laughs> tripping over. We'll be able to get a couple of nice film photos, 
get like a close up of the tower maybe and I'll still send the drone up and see what I can do, but yeah, saying the one. So a few days passed and I headed back up north and this time high tide, sunset and clear conditions matched up so perfectly. It was such a relief to finally go back and I knew that I was going to get the shot that I wanted. And look how incredible it is. The vision that was in my head, I wanted the lighthouse to look completely isolated like it was on its own little island floating out at sea. I wanted it to look super minimal, really moody and yeah, we got it. Saying that the photos that we got at low tide actually look really cool. I think they look like they're almost on their own little cool rocky planet. I think they look really sick. Honestly, this is probably my favorite drone shot that I've ever taken. Big claim, but I just love it so much. One thing I do need to say, however, is that St. Mary's Lighthouse is an SS, S, S, yeah, S, 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 I protected space. And what that means is that it's a space of significant scientific interest which basically means the whole place is actually a protected wildlife area and you're not allowed to fly any drones there now i was a big naive idiot i got down there and i got so excited about getting the shot i just sent it off in my defense there's nothing on the dji app that blocks this area off there's also no like big don't fly drone here signs or anything and as far as I'm aware, there's nothing on the actual sign about the lighthouse itself. I had a quick glance over. But yeah, listen, I was naive. I was an idiot. I got my shots. I was like, yeah, this is sick. And it's only when I posted them on socials that a few people reached out, did a little bit more research. And yeah, that's not a mistake that I'm going to be making in the future. I think anytime I'm in nature and I'm going to be flying my drone, I'm going to check the SSSI maps. You can download them online. I'd recommend doing that if you are a drone flyer person. I absolutely love shooting my home county. It's crazy how beautiful everything up there is. Like, growing up, I definitely took it for granted and going back with my camera is such a fun experience. I cannot wait to do it again. If you have enjoyed your time over here at the Stevie Campbell channel, please like, comment and subscribe. It means the world to me. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time for another video. Peace.